Hey guys, Roland here with Garage Golf again. Hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Black Friday shopping. Went ahead and did a little bit of Black Friday shopping myself a little bit early. And the whole theme of today is what's old is new again. So what I wanted, um, I've been having a little issues with my hybrid. The other day I was playing golf with my cousin and uh, I hit his three RBZ tailor-made hybrid and I hit it better than I hit anything else uh, before. So I kind of uh, purchased that from him and uh, that's obviously a club now that's probably seven or eight years old I'm assuming and uh, just fell in love with it again. So I'm, I'm to blame more than anybody else about this but as new technology comes out I kind of replace things that I've had that have worked for me with new technology and um, wanted to kind of go back to what's worked in the past and uh, wanted to see how many of you guys have uh, guys or girls obviously have uh, been susceptible to this and over time replace the club that you absolutely loved for something that is just newer technology and then later on regret it. So uh, let me show you guys what I purchased because uh, I love that 3 wood so much I wanted to get the hybrid to match it. I got this from my good friends here at Global Golf. Uh, I was one click away from buying it from another site. I ended up finding Global Golf. I uh, really liked what they had to offer. The club itself was probably $20 cheaper than this other site I was going to purchase it from. And in addition, anything uh, that you purchase, they also give you a one-year subscription to Golf Magazine. So how can you beat that, right? Let me, guys, let me show you guys uh, what exactly I bought here. Okay, guys, so let me show you what exactly it is that I purchased. Open it up real quick for you. So this is the club. Uh, it comes shipped without a head cover, uh, unless you want to purchase one separately. For me, I already have some custom head covers that I use. Uh, so it's a TaylorMade RBZ Stiff Hybrid 65 gram. And here's the club. I'm gonna let you guys see it here in just a, a moment zoomed in. What's important about the club though, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what they do. Uh, this is considered very good condition. So I was a little worried about it. The only thing that I did not see on their website were pictures like I saw on another one that I was looking at. But I'm very pleasantly surprised with the quality and the condition of the club. Uh, it's an excellent condition, very, very minimal wear or damage on it. So when they do say it's in very good condition, they even have a little video that, it, that kind of goes uh, side by side with it on their website and uh, show you what you can expect and what they tell you you can expect. I can definitely vouch for them. You get a really good quality club. So let me show you uh, up close what exactly you're looking at here. Okay, guys, so here's the RBZ. 3 hybrid. This is the original RBZ Rocket Balls hybrid. I'm really looking forward to hitting this. I want to get it out there and, and uh, definitely test it out because I never actually had this club but I heard good things about it. It's easy to hit for a hybrid. As you can see, very, very minimal wear. If you can get kind of close up. There's a few nicks here and there. Very, very minimal though. Club face itself is in really good condition. And then the top very very minimal paint wear damage i've looked all over for this club uh, over and over on different websites and i find lots and lots of paint chips lots of issues for people that don't take good care of their clubs obviously or use head covers like i do all the time and um, really really impressed with the club obviously the grip i do plan probably replacing the grip but it's in good shape as well so Hope you guys like the club. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this specific club if you have a moment. And also, I'd love to know what club do you miss that you gave up that you wish you could have back in your bag because it's uh, kind of the theme of the video. I'd be very interested to hear what club, whether it's an iron, driver, hybrid, three wood, five wood, anything that you guys have had in the past that you maybe got rid of for something newer technology and you wish you had it back. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on that as well. Okay guys, I want to thank you for spending some time with me on this video. Um, again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on specific clubs or anything that you maybe have passed up in the past that uh, you wish you had back in your bag or maybe we'll search for again. Um, kind of getting into this whole what's old is new, you know, thing all over again because, like I said, I was really bad about kind of always replacing stuff when new technology came out. And I'm going to go back now, I think, to what exactly do I love to hit, and what, what has worked for me in the past that maybe I want to see in my bag again. Uh, again, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Global Golf. Um, I, obviously, I purchased the club myself. You know, They don't ship me anything. I, I love that opportunity in the future. Um, Global Golf, if you're listening, I'd love the opportunity to test different golf clubs maybe that you have in, in your possession 
I'd uh, be happy to pay for shipping back to you and uh, kind of give you guys a review on, on some of these older clubs or even some of the newer technology that you guys get. As we grow our subscriber list, it's definitely something that we're looking to do here. We have a full golf simulator, as you see, and love that opportunity. Right now, I'm two weeks post-op from double hernia surgery, so unfortunately, I won't be able to get my hands on this and actually swing it for at least four more weeks. Uh, but it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. So beginning of next year, I'm going to be hitting it really hard, trying to get you guys some more videos out. If there's anything you'd like to see, please let us know. I'd love the opportunity to do something for you guys, um, maybe uh, get some technology tested out of here. We got Dan and Gilbert who also do some uh, some golf club testing for us as well. Maybe we can get them in here and do some uh, some technology uh, demonstrations or some new videos for you guys also. So thanks again, guys. We appreciate it, and uh, we hope you have a good one. Thank you.